Hello folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use your Nintendo Switch with Parsec. What is Parsec? Parsec is a remote desktop application primarily used for playing games through video streaming. Not sponsored. <laughs> this allows you to stream your computer screen to friends and allows them to send inputs over to your computer. Pair this with the Switch, and this means your friends can remotely access your Switch. This means you can play your Switch with friends and family that may not have a Switch through streaming. This is also a great way to play local co-op only games with friends over the internet. Here's a few disclaimers and things to take note of before jumping in. In this tutorial and in all of my other tutorials, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer sections unless stated otherwise. As far as I know, the program we'll be using in this video, SysHID Plus Client, only works on a Windows computer. You can still follow along if you're using a Mac or a Linux, but the setup will be different. If you're going to be using Mac or Linux, or don't want to use SysHID Plus Client, you'll need Python 3 installed. More info on that later. Next, you'll need a modded switch running Atmosphere Custom Firmware. If you don't have a modded switch, check out my noob friendly guide in the description. It goes over the basics of modding your switch. The next thing you'll need is a way to capture your Switch gameplay. A capture card, such as this one, will get the job done. A free alternative to a capture card is SysDVR by Exelix11. SysDVR allows you to capture your Switch gameplay wirelessly and via USB cable. You can even capture gameplay while using the Switch in handheld mode. You can find my guide on SysDVR in the description. This next thing, while not required, is recommended. That is Tesla Menu. Tesla Menu allows you to pull up a menu similar to the Quick Menu on the Switch. From here, you can adjust certain settings by supported installed Sys modules. You can even toggle installed Sys modules on and off on the fly, which is very useful if you experience any issues while having too many active at once. You can find my tutorial guide on Tesla Menu in the description. Last but not least, you'll need Parsec installed on your computer and a Parsec account. Parsec works on Windows, Mac, Android, and Linux operating systems. Download and set up the version that is right for you. Oh, and you'll need some friends, of course. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community, or if you need help with mod stuff. Now, let's get started with the setup of SysHID+. Connect your Switch SD card to your computer. I'll be connecting via FTP wireless file transferring. I have a guide for this in the description. Open up your browser and search up SysHID+. Click here on the GitHub page. SysHID+, is a Sys module that allows you to emulate controllers over the network. Shout out to Pasca Pinishkis. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> and everyone else involved in the making of this. Scroll down to see some disclaimers and notes. Do take note of the known issues and unsupported games section. Scroll up and click releases. Make sure to download the latest release. You can find the latest release at the top of the page. Click sysHIDplus.7zip to download it. Open it and extract it. If you can't open it, make sure you have a program such as 7-Zip or WinRAR installed. Now, move the Atmosphere folder to the root of your SD card. This will merge it with your current Atmosphere folder. Here's how you'll know you set this up correctly. Open the Atmosphere folder, Contents, and this folder here, ending in 1312. This is the title ID folder for SysHID+. Now, create a new text file and name it toolbox.json, J-S-O-N, and open it. In the description, you'll find a pastebin link. Click it and copy this. Paste it in the text file. Save it 
and close it. This will let you toggle the Sys module on and off through Tesla menu. As I mentioned earlier, Tesla menu allows you to toggle Sys modules on and off on the fly. The next thing to download is Sys HID Plus Client, which will connect our computer to the switch and send inputs over to the switch. As I mentioned earlier, this program only works with Windows computers. Alternatively, you can use Input PC to connect. And this method works with Windows, Mac, and Linux. For this method, you'll need Python 3 installed. Follow the text instructions on the main GitHub page for SysHID Plus to use that alternative Input PC method. Now, click here. Sys HID Plus Client. Click Assets and download Sys HID Plus Client. zip. There is an alternative client by Kinesu H, Sys HID Plus Client RS, which offers more customization options for controls, but I had some trouble with getting it to consistently connect. I'll be sticking to the original client for this video, but hey, maybe that alternate client will work for you. Open the client. I'll be moving the files over to a SysHID Plus folder on my desktop. Now, open the client. Don't click anything just yet. If you moved SysHID Plus to your switch via FTP, hold Power, Power Options, and Restart. If you connected the SD card to your computer, eject it, put it in your switch, enter RCN, and boot into Atmosphere. Now, open the Tesla menu and confirm that it's running. A few disclaimers. The home and capture buttons do not work with this. And if you're experiencing crashes, for example, when loading the homebrew menu while this is active, try disabling other sys modules or disabling syshid plus when you're not using it. I found that disabling sysftpd lite will stop the crashes from happening, but this may be different for you if you're using a lot of toggleable sys modules. This is why I highly recommend setting up Tesla menu before doing this. Next, type your switch IP address here on the client. To find this, go to system settings, down to internet, and you'll see your IP address here. Now, type your IP address on syshid plus client, but don't click connect just yet. Open up your capture card software or connect via sysdvr to display your Switch gameplay on your laptop. Now here comes the fun part, playing with friends through Parsec. Your friends would join your Parsec session as they normally would. Make sure they have a controller connected to their device. After they've connected and you have your way of capturing gameplay set up, press connect on the client. They should now be able to interact with your Switch. If you'd like to see this in action, check out my uploaded livestream where I played a few games with Mystery Cube 7. We played split screen Minecraft Legacy Edition, Smash Bros, and more. If you would like to try this out and maybe don't have people to play with, consider joining my Discord. You may find others to play with. Shout out to Mystery Cube 7 for testing this out with me on the stream and shout out to Ariz for recording himself connect to me through Parsec. Make sure to check out Ariz on Game Banana. He's made some great mods. And that is all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Really appreciate it. Sharing these videos helps the channel a lot, so thank you. Thank you for that. Shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you, yes you, for watching until the end. On the left, you'll see my playlist for Switch modding guides, and on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya. Pax Christi.